Village wants to go after two companies registered in Quebec. Superior Court will decide if the lawsuit will go ahead. Now, it alleges companies committed war crimes by building houses in the village of Berlin in the occupied West Bank. Dan Holton has that story. They know it's a legal long shot, but if, and it's a big if, Quebec Superior Court agrees to hear their lawsuit, they hope it would send a message to companies around the world. Think twice before you involve yourself in business activities that infringe human rights and international humanitarian law. The companies in this case are Green Park and Green Mount International, registered in Quebec, based in this building in Montreal. They have links to Israeli diamond magnate Dan Gertler, the largest exporter of gemstones from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Half a world away, the Palestinian village of Berlin in the West Bank is suing the companies in a Canadian court, a legal first under Canada's War Crimes and Crimes Against Humanity Act. The village claims the companies are violating international law by building Israeli settlements on occupied land. The fourth Geneva Convention forbids an occupying power from transferring its own civilians into occupied territory. The lawsuit seeks $2 million in punitive damages from each company and an immediate injunction from the Canadian court to stop construction and remove the existing settlements. But even the village's own lawyers admit any Canadian court would be reluctant to weigh in on the legal status of Israeli settlements. I'd like to be confident. The question is, how much will the court stick to the law and the facts and not be distracted either by the complicated legal uh, aspects from Israel and by politics. The lawyer for the companies declined to be interviewed on camera but maintains this lawsuit is, quote, totally inappropriate and falls outside Canadian legal jurisdiction. On June 22nd, he'll demand Quebec's Superior Court dismiss the lawsuit. Dan Halton, CBC News, Montreal. Quebec's National Assembly has passed a law against so-called slaps. They are strategic lawsuits against...